five years ago in July, here it is, uh, first week of September, I took this piece of old cypress wood, it was actually new cypress wood, and I drilled out a few pieces in it, five in particular, to test five of the most popular wood fillers and epoxies on the market. Um, I have left this piece of wood out in my backyard in central Florida for the last five years, sitting like this, exposed to the elements to see how these wood fillers did. And uh, I'm kind of impressed and kind of shocked on some of it. So I'm gonna walk you through each of these wood fillers, how they performed over the last five years, and uh, we'll show you some pictures of how they were the first year and on through that, how they've progressed. But it's a pretty good test. You might wanna try this in your climate too, because what do you need, a really high-end wood filler? Is it a wood epoxy? What, what do you need to repair wood in your neck of the woods? So we'll check it out and take a look at these and see what you think. Five years ago, I started a test. I repaired this piece of wood per the manufacturer's specs with each of these wood fillers and epoxies and left it to the elements in my backyard. The results I found truly surprised me. And I hope this test will help you pick the right wood filler for your project and trust that if it can stand up here, it will do the same at your house. So let's take a look at the results and pick the winners. The first wood filler I've got here is actually a structural two-part wood epoxy called Abitron Wood Epox. Uh, I use this in my shop a lot and I wanted to see how it held up down here. It's still very solidly in the wood. It is um, got some cracks around the edges as you can see, but uh, it held up pretty well. The algae did was not frightened by it, it grew on it. No mold or mildew it doesn't look like, but it held up there pretty well. The second product that I use to patch it is MH Ready Patch. This is more of like a spackle and you can see it did not do that well. Um, it just came loose this last year, but uh, it was pretty difficult to get this thing to hang in there. It was a little bit, uh, it, it had shrunk after I sanded it, it dried, it shrunk a bit, so it was a bit of a divot in the surface, but uh, I would not recommend this for exterior wood application because that's the results you'll get after four or five years. Next product I use, I was pretty surprised by, but this is JB Weld Quickwood. Quickwood's a two-part, uh, kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll, and you just smush the two parts together. It uh, comes in a small stick, and it's held up pretty well. It's very difficult to dig out. I haven't been able to get it to move. Um, and uh, one of the cool things is algae, mildew growth, mildew growth on it, absolutely nothing. It stays pretty clean and seems impervious to just about all of our Florida weather down here. So hats off to you, Quickwood. This right here is Minwax Stainable Wood Filler. And this is probably one of the least expensive and biggest surprises for me how this did. Um, it is really solid in the wood, no real cracking around the outside, it's pretty level. Obviously mildew, algae growth, uh, just like it would on the wood, so no changes there, but for a very inexpensive wood filler, obviously this is not a structural repair, but it held up really, really well. So, very well done, Minwax. And this right here is Minwax High Performance Wood Filler, which strangely did not perform quite as well as the regular wood filler. This is a um, styrene resin, kind of like a Bondo type product. It's two part and smells pretty bad when you put it on, but it is a very hard uh, repair and uh, a little bit more resistant to algae and mold and mildew growth. Um, it's a little bit too rigid, it would appear, for the wood because you can see right there you've got some cracks along the edges um, a little bit more than some of the other wood fillers not quite as bad as the MH ready patch but uh, it was also down here on the end and there's not much of that wood left so uh, I think it held up pretty well for what it was so there you have it the results of my five-year wood filler and epoxy test some great products definitely some dark horses and I'm gonna be using this Minwax wood filler more often now and for structural repairs, to me, it seems like the Abitron Woody Pox was the way to go. So some great products to give a shot in your area and definitely some ones to stay away from if you don't want them to fail. You can find links to all these products in the description below as well as the yearly results posts on my blog. 
While you're still here, click the subscribe button to keep up to date and join me on Patreon for some individual coaching for your project. Thanks for coming by. If you could, yeah, if, if you want to zoom in, thank you. It's just a little too far. Yeah, I want to make sure that people could see everything that they need to. Yep, there too. Great.